morning and welcome everyone. Today I thought we'd do a little vlog just to take you along with me on my day. Um, everybody seems to like those videos for some reason even though I feel like my days are kind of boring. So I just woke up a little bit ago. I've kind of been just laying in bed like I do. Um, talking to Andrew as he's been getting ready. He has to go somewhere this morning so um, it's kind of unusual. For us, normally we're both just here and staying home all day, um, unless I have to like run errands or something or go get bundles, but um, he's also having some issues with his car, so he's going to be taking my car and I am going to be stranded here all day, so I had to kind of plan my day around that because originally I was going to go out and shop for bundles, but I think I'm going to end up doing that tomorrow. So. I have a bunch of work planned for the day while I'm here. Good morning. <laughs> here comes Andrew. He brings me my coffee every morning. And today's no exception. <laughs> Thank you. Love you. Love you. I take my coffee black with um, cinnamon these days, so that's what I have in there. And maybe like a couple weeks ago I made some homemade whipped cream which was really good and I was loving taking like a scoop of that and just putting in my coffee um, kind of as like a sweetener and cream situation obviously I need to get up out of bed actually and get the day started so I'm gonna do that and um, then stretch a little bit and whatever but before we continue on with the video I'm gonna throw it over to other Devin because we are gonna talk about our sponsor today. Thank you, Dev, and thank you to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video. I've worked with them a couple times in the past and it's always a joy. So I'm sharing with you a couple of pairs that I wear on the regular. These are my favorite pairs that they've sent me. Um, over the past couple times that we worked together. So these are basically like my go-to pair. I'll put all the names down here. And I love Glasses USA because they cut out the middleman, so you're getting 70% off of retail prices of glasses. And they can do any prescription. They also do contact lenses. So they have in-house brands like Muse, which these are from Muse. These ones are also from Muse. A Toto too, these are a Toto and Amelia E. Then they also have more designer brands like Ray-Ban, Gucci, Prada. These are Ray-Ban sunglasses and these have been my favorite pair of sunnies lately. They kind of have like a bluish tint to them. But they have over 7,000 styles to choose from so you're sure to find something that fits your kind of mood. A complete pair of glasses starts at $30 too and any basic prescription is included in the price. Really affordable. Their quality is always really great and they also have a 100% money back guarantee and 14 day returns and 365 day warranty. So you're pretty much covered and you get a shop from the comfort of your own home. If you are interested in getting yourself some glasses, whether they be blue light sunglasses or if you need some contact lenses, I highly recommend checking out GlassesUSA.com. There's going to be a link down for you in the description. And thank you once again to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video. I'll send it back to you, Dev. Okay, thank you, Ad Devin. Um, now we're going to get back to the regular daily schedule. I thought I'd do a voiceover with this video. So I put on my giant sweater because my house is freezing. I open up the window, pull back the... Um, curtains so that I can get as much light in as possible. We'll stretch, we'll look see around, then I grab some incense and I light it and I use that to light my candles um, so that I don't burn my fingers. Comes in handy. Blow it out, wave it around, wave it here, wave it there, wave it around everywhere, wave it around yourself. All right, I've made my first outfit change of the day and I'm in basically just some comfortable clothes um, since I'm on camera. Normally I don't really care about wearing anything, but you know, for your guys' sake, this is hilarious watching me do these workouts in super fast speed. That's hilarious, but these are very minimal. It's mostly just like a little wake up thing. Um, we did this stuff in dance like for practice, so. 
I'm just doing what I know, basically. Big yawn. Okay, we're sitting. We're doing a little meditation. It looks like I'm just breathing frantically. But it's a time lapse. That's why this is going so fast. Then I do a little journaling. I try to journal just whenever I feel like it. It's not always in the morning. It's not always every day. But today, I was feeling it. Okay. We're in the bathroom, about to just do all of our normal morning bathroom things. So I figured I'd show you all um, face washing. Because I think the last video that I was um, doing, that was a vlog, um, this part got lost in the footage somehow. So I'm just getting a cotton ball because I'm going to tone it because I haven't done that. Um, in a little bit, so I think it's about due time. I'm also about to get my period, so I got a huge zit on my face that hurts like a mother fucker. So, we're gonna be careful. I've also been trying something new with my hair, a little like 1920s kind of finger waves, as you can see. Um, the gel that I use makes my hair hard as a rock, so this has been like this for two days now. It actually kind of is hard to sleep in because your hair is so hard and it kind of pulls weird. So in the morning I used the squalene. And I'm not leaving the house today either, so I'm not even going to put on um, sunscreen. But if I was, I would also do some of that to last. So now that's done, I'm probably going to end up either not giving a crap what my hair looks like today or fixing this because kind of getting a little out of hand. These ones yesterday I had both curled under like this. It was really cute. So I'll fix them and do something again with it. Maybe have them over here today or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I might not even do anything because nobody's going to see me. Besides all of you, I guess. So a lot of people are seeing me. Oh well. Alright folks, we're in the front part of my or house here. Um, what would normally be an entryway has become a closet area. So I figured we'd pick out an outfit together. I'm kind of going towards this. This is one of my favorite vintage dresses that I have. I got it at Knee Deep Vintage, um, which is in Pilsen in Chicago. And I got it with my friend Steph, who also has a YouTube channel. If you don't follow or, or if you're not subscribed to her already, you should check her out. This one's also cute. I'm feeling like either of these. I'm almost going for this one just because I know it'll be easier, but the only thing that's making me think this one is that I could put a turtleneck underneath and be very warm. I have a little Mia right here. <laughs> I think it's gotta be this one. Oh, and I'll wear my belt that I made with it and I can show you guys that then too. Black with cinnamon. Yep. Pixie dust. Yep. What is it that makes Peter Pan fly? Is it, it is pixie? totally pixie dust. Oh hell yeah. Alright, so I am dressed and ready for the day. This um, belt kind of corset thing I made myself and I think that I might try and make another one with you all today just because it ended up being really easy and I think that would be a fun little addition to this video and I just want to have like a bunch of them because it's slowly become my favorite accessory. I want to do somewhere I like paint cool on them and whatever but anyways I'm also going to be wearing these glasses while I work today from Glasses USA. These are the pair that I normally gravitate to. They don't really match this outfit but I don't really care as well so I am going to wear these today. 
And then I just have on sheer black tights and then some black like knee-high boots. Um, I'll also probably put on my rings really quick. Oh yeah, also this company in Bohindi Stream just sent me these um, really pretty jewelry pieces. This earring, I have a couple different ones on. Um, and then this Sagittarius coin pendant and then this really pretty little butterfly ring. So that was really sweet of them. We're suited up and um, I don't know, I don't really want to make breakfast yet. I am hungry, but I am also just lazy, so um, I might just grab something to snack on until I can do like lunch breakfast. I have a Patreon video that I need to edit and need to get up for them because it was kind of due a couple of days ago. Sorry, patron members. Your January diary entry is coming, so just hang tight. I also want to try and edit this one like tonight and get it up tomorrow or maybe Sunday, depending how fast I can do a little turnaround time here. So a lot of editing to do. I have some emails that I need to respond to, which usually takes a good amount of time. I need to play some bass um, just as a daily goal for myself to pick it up every day. And we also have a show coming up, a live stream show on Valentine's Day. So get excited for that if you're interested. I'll try to post the link to where we're gonna stream it on my community tab. I believe they have a YouTube channel. It's Get Local Beverly is the um, group that we're doing it through. They're a super awesome organization on the South Side that work with like uh, local musicians. So I decided I'm gonna make myself like a lazy kind of a breakfast. I have rice cakes and I'm gonna just put almond butter, jam, and maybe like half of a banana on it, and then I'll eat the other half later. And maybe some hemp seeds on top. Sometimes I also throw chia seeds on top, which is just a personal choice, so absolutely beautiful. Super stoked. I'm going to eat this and uh, get to editing the Patreon video. I'll try to keep you updated throughout the day if anything fun happens. <laughs> I just need to show this one more time because seriously it is beautiful. So it is 11.30. I took off the head thing because with the glasses it was just a lot of weight on my head right there and like on my ears so it was kind of hurting them. The video is going pretty well. Here it is. I did a Valentine's Day look for the patrons so if you are a patron member You'll be seeing this very soon. This Patreon video will go up before this vlog, so you probably have already seen it. Okay, so I pretty much just finished my video. Oops, thumb was covering the thing. Um, I pretty much finished the video for the patrons besides um, the music that I have to put in, which I just got a new passport, like hard drive thing, so my music's transferring from my old one onto the new one, and then I'm gonna add that into this video. And then, um, do like my last minute color correction stuff that I do. But while I'm waiting for this stuff to, um, load and like render and everything, so much of editing videos is just waiting for ever. So, I figured, oops, sounds like something's in. Uh, while I'm waiting for stuff to render though, I'm going to make my lunch. It's like 1.15. I don't know if I said that, but I'm starving. So I think I'm going to make an egg and a piece of toast. And I have these veggie burgers, so since I waited so long to eat, um, I might make a veggie burger, put the egg on top of it, on top of the slice of bread with some like spinach and mushrooms and whatever. I'll show you when I'm finished, but I'm about to make myself a great meal. So I kind of had a change of plans because I remember that I got these avocados that are very ripe. So instead of using the veggie burger, which I could eat just without the egg, um, and it'd be like a meal, I'm gonna save that and I'm gonna do uh, half of an avocado. 
And right now I'm just chopping up mushrooms that I'm sauteing and going to put in some onion with. And I have spinach, little tomatoes, and I'll probably put goat cheese on the toast before I put the egg on it. And I like it to be just like um, an open-faced kind of sandwich thing. And just eat it all together like that. Put it together. Ta-da! Bread, goat cheese, spices, dill, pepper, what else did I put in this? Uh, beautiful little orange tomatoes, sauteed mushrooms and onions, over easy egg, avocado. We have it all. So I made myself another cup of coffee as well. Okay, I just finished eating. It is... Oh, okay, maybe I didn't just finish eating. I'm kind of a slow eater too, so it's been about an hour since I started making food. So I probably ate for like 40 minutes or something. Also went on my phone, um, made a short little video, and I posted about um, this article that I contributed to for the Clash magazine. One of the writers, Lucy, reached out to me via email and we had a little conversation yesterday about like 60s and 70s specifically artists and some who have some really uh, abusive and problematic pasts and how we should like move forward with that and whether or not we should just forget and forgive those things or what we should do with those kind of situations. Um, so if you want to hear about that, I think it's an important thing to consider as classic rock fans, just as music fans in general, especially with the stuff that's coming out right now about Marilyn Manson. Um, I don't really know much about him, honestly, but it's, it's not a surprise, sadly, because this stuff has gone on in the past and other people have just been forgiven or it's just been brushed up to being like their character, their crazy rock star person, whatever, whatever. But I think that there's a huge difference between putting on a good show versus actually living and being like this wild, unhinged person that knows really no limits and no boundaries, especially when it's affecting other people. Um, so. Anyways, I could keep rambling about that, but if you want to check that out and kind of like hear our own conclusions from that conversation, I'll put the link down in the description. It was The Clash Magazine if you want to look them up online or on Instagram or anything as well, so yeah. But let's see, I just have to basically watch this video again. It is a whole 32 minutes long, so it'll take that long. I need to do the color corrections and then save it and then start editing this video. Okay, it's actually now almost 4 o'clock and I just officially finished my video. I always end up doing this, making last minute uh, tweaks and like adding photos and um, just doing like detailed things like turning up music where there's um, like a long part of me doing makeup or not talking or something. So. That ends up taking a good amount of time, so now I have to wait for this to render. And then once that's finished, I can save it, which I'll have to wait another probably like 30 minutes or something. My video is finally uploading. Andrew just got back. He wanted to get some takeout, so he's got that, but I'm eating one of those veggie burgers that I was talking about earlier because I am vegetarian. So we're going to eat. It's like a late lunch early early dinner it's 4 30 so we'll probably need to eat something small again later on but we're just gonna watch something and eat our food so we just finished eating and i'm starting to make the other belt like i was talking about that i was wearing today so um i just kind of took apart the pieces of this one i'm gonna use this as a pattern before i just kind of did a guess and test and tried it on and um, made alterations as I worked on it to get the shape that I wanted but this time I've already got something that I like so I'm just gonna use this over again
So I just basically traced the pieces from this one, put it back together. It's made out of three parts, two parts for the front pieces, here and here. And here's the back piece. So I just have to put like four holes in each side and then maybe like five or six for the lacing. And then it's finished, so really easy. Here it is, it's finished. I'll try it on for you and lace it up. Let's find a better spot. This is how I put them in. I just make a little slit in uh, one end of the cord and um, then loop it through and then I loop the end that I was threading with through the little hole that I made and then tie a knot. And that helps to create a good sturdy hold. Here's this one, all tied up and everything. Super cute. Now I have one in black and brown, so something to pretty much match every outfit. And this one looks really cute. So now I'm probably going to start editing this vlog. So it's about 9.30, I just washed my face and I am kind of uh, stopping working for the night and I'm just going to like chill out with Andrew for the rest of the evening I think and then go to bed. So this very well may be the last you see of me, if it is, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed this little vlog. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video. And I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Whatever you're doing, I'll catch you in the next one.